So the first thing we need to do when we want to use a new module, such as NumPy, which is a very popular module, is to import it. So for this exercise, we're going to create a new cell. I'm just going to use the B key, enter into the cell, and import NumPy. Now, every time we use a NumPy function, we're going to have to say NumPy.sign, NumPy.cosign, so on and so forth. So because NumPy is so popular, there's a common alias, which is NP. And this just makes everything a little bit quicker because we can just put NP.sign and NP.cosign. So let's run that cell. And now we've got NumPy imported into our notebook. Before we do anything else, we're going to have to read some documentation and work out what functions there are and what they do. Let's go to our favorite search engine and search for NumPy documentation. I'm going to follow this first link, which actually says NumPy and SciPy documentation. We're going to talk about SciPy in a future exercise, but both NumPy and SciPy are really useful modules. They're developed by the same foundation and a lot of the same programmers. So we're going to go to the complete NumPy manual. And we could work our way through, page through page through the user guide or the reference. We could use the index or the glossary. But actually, it's probably just quicker for us to go straight to the search bar. So We've already seen math.sin for calculating sines. Let's see if NumPy has a similar function. And it does. So just like other documentation that we've seen, we can see a function name, and we can see parameters. And details about these parameters are all located here. We can also see what the function's going to return. There's a really helpful box which says similar functions that we might be interested in, such as cosine or sine h. There's notes, these are usually on the algorithm behind the code, and then most importantly, there's a nice list of examples which shows how we can use np.sign or numpy.sign on a single number, just like we did with math.sign, or on an array of numbers. We're going to cover what an array is in a moment, but this just means we can do sign on multiple numbers at once. We're also going to cover plotting later. So, that's an example piece of NumPy documentation. Have a look around for other functions that you might like to use, such as COS, and see what the documentation is like.